Welcome back to Androgen Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own all natural dusting spray. Now you certainly can just clean with a microfiber towel, which I will do from time to time, but I like the dusting spray because it shines everything up and it makes it smell delicious. Let's just take a quick peek in my house where a ton of dust accumulates. Now I have an entire video I'll link in the description box below to help you uh, reduce the amount of dust that does accumulate. But because this is a bit of an older home, I think it just tends to collect more dust. But look at right here, after one week, I'll be sitting watching some TV, looking at some ocean sounds. Yes, I have this on my TV like pretty much all day, every day. But look at right here, it drives me crazy. If you're extra short on time, I just want to show you a product that I absolutely love when it comes to dusting. It's this Method Almond. It just has a really nice scent to it. So I do opt for this, especially if I just want to spice things up a little bit. First thing, grab yourself an amber bottle. I got these for a really good price on Amazon. Everything will be linked below in the description box, a pack of six. Now these are recommended, especially when you're going to be using essential oils, because when it hits the light, it starts to break down much like hydrogen peroxide. I do use just plain glass bottles as well, but if we want to be pro like cleaners, you're going to want to opt for the amber. Grab yourself one cup of distilled or filtered water. I just have filter water right here. Next thing that you're gonna grab is some vinegar. You know this is one of my favorites. You're gonna add a fourth a cup. So I just like to put everything in this beaker right here. One cup of water, distilled or filtered, fourth a cup of vinegar. The next thing that you're gonna add, this is gonna really give the shine to whatever it is that you're dusting. You're gonna take some extra virgin olive oil. I like this one. And you're gonna add two teaspoons to your combination. Now, because water and oil do not mix, each time you go to use your spray, you just wanna make sure that you give it a good shake. And here's the final treat when it comes to making your own dusting spray. Get whatever essential oils that you like. I'm really loving um, eucalyptus right now, so I'm gonna opt for this one. I just have this pack that I use. This is a really great starter kit for anyone that's wanting to get into essential oils. Now I'm gonna add about 10 to I don't know, 20 drops. It just depends upon how potent that you want it to be. I do like it a little bit more uh, aromatic in my home. So there we go. That's probably about good. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll just go ahead and pour it into my amber bottle. Lemon is also great when it comes to this, but I just really like this fresh scent right here. When you are dusting, you can spray directly on the surface. I tend to just spray on my microfiber towel right here. That way I have better control of how much solution actually goes to the surface. Now, let's watch this dust disappear and make it so shiny satisfying. Now the microfiber itself is great, but I think the combination of the microfiber and the solution really picks up the dust better than each one by themselves. Especially if you are dusting around electronics, just be very careful that you don't get any moisture on them. So that's why I like to spray it on the cloth first. Now that is looking so much better until next week. Do you ever notice how much dust accumulates on the top of your light switches? It's easy to go unnoticed. And the last thing that I'll do is just go ahead and pop a cute label on this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up so that it can reach more people. Share it out to Pinterest and Facebook and sign up for the weekly newsletter cleaning hacks, tips and tricks, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.